Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday. That means new comic books are hitting shelves all across the world. Well, they're not digital, physical, it's like the best day of the week because it's New Comic Book Day. And Marvel's hooked us up with two trade paperbacks to talk about and show off and basically give my opinions. So, you know, in full fairness and transparency, Marvel did hook us up with both of these. So no money was exchanged, no money, you know, didn't pay for it at all. You can make up your mind as to what uh, you think, what I think. Oh, you think of what I think. Something of that nature. So we got two trade paperbacks for a fairly recent series. We have the third volume of ta Coates' Black Panther, and then Steve Rogers' Captain America by Nick Spencer, The Trial of Maria Hill, which is volume two of that series. We're going to start with Black Panther and talk about that. So this collects issues 9 through 12 of Black Panther, as well as material from New Avengers 18, 21, and 24. Tani Hasu Coates is the writer, Brian Stelfreeze, Chris Sprouse, Carl Story, Goran Suzuka, Walden Wong, Robert Poe, Scott Hanna, Laura Martin, Matt Miller, uh, Larry Melinar, Rachel Rosenberg, and Paul Mounts all have contributed as far as arts. Paul, Brian Stelfreeze does like the majority of the art. So this kind of wraps up the big first 12 issue arc of uh, Tanahosi Coates' Black Panther story. It is an epic. It was kind of pitched as a maxi series that they're going to go 12 issues, and if people responded well, they would go longer than that. And so this wraps up kind of that first big giant epic arc that we've been expecting in this third trade. Uh, so generally, I think. The arc's been decent. I, there's much better runs of Black Panther, and you can tell Coates has never written comics uh, based off of, well, basically the run. Uh, he's gotten much better as the series gone on, and I think as he's gotten into the groove of things, but obviously the beginning of it was uh, very uh, choppy and not quite as smooth as you'd expect from a comic book writer, a tenured, long-running comic book writer. And uh, overall, I think the series reads way better as... A, a trade and like all one reading than it did as individual issues. I think each trade has uh, been solid reads compared to the individual issues, which I actually thought was kind of boring. Um, you know, Coates is very much about the the nation building and the action and all that, which is great and something really cool to see in comics. But it doesn't really make for the most stimulating of reads. So this is what I'd call more of like the intellectual comic. That's not a bad thing at all. Uh, this is the one that's dry, long reading. There is some solid action in there. There's some solid emotion in there. Uh, the other thing is Coates relies a lot on Black Panther history. Uh, some things are explained really well. Some things not as much. Uh, so for new readers, you know, I don't know how well you might understand exactly what's going on. It doesn't quite hurt the story, but it does help to know a lot of more of Black Panther history and the world of Wakanda and uh, uh, all of that. So overall, not bad. The material that's included, the extra material from New Avengers, you know, it, it's one that I thought it was interesting going back and reading. Uh, for new people who may have no idea what the hell the story is, I'm not quite sure how useful that is. Uh, you know, it kind of helps a little bit, put some, you know, insights into uh, into Black Panther and, and what he's going through and what's kind of on his mind, but I don't think it quite uh, is super needed. The other thing is, I think there was a lot of pot uh, potential that was lost with the series. Uh, at the end of Secret Wars, uh, there was a lot kind of hinted at a lot, uh, with regarding Afrofuturism and that Marvel was really kind of centering uh, Wakanda into uh, the Marvel Universe with them kind of funding so many different organizations and providing their technology. And I think that potential hasn't quite been hit. Uh, we've seen basically a nation that is torn uh, on, the, on the verge of revolution and going in a new direction, a leader who isn't confident. And I think there's a kind of contrast of some of what we've seen of, uh, of Black Panther and other series. So, um, you know, there's some disconnect as well with that, though it's played in a little bit. You know, I, I haven't quite, uh, it doesn't just feel like straight continuity all across, and there's some choppiness when it comes to that. Uh, as far as the trade itself, as I said, it, it collects issues 9 through 12. The art's pretty decent. Um, you know, I, I appreciate Brian Stelfreeze's art. Uh, I'm not quite as blown away as I think some other people are, but it's pretty cool. I mean, there, there is some really beautiful things to look at. The coloring, I think, is what really stands out to me for some of this. Showing off some of the pages. As far as extras, we get covers of the various issues. And in the back, we get some variant covers, which is kind of cool. There's some, uh, I don't remember if these are variants or these are just big giant images that were included. There are some variants right here. Uh, so as far as extras, there's not a ton. 
at $16.99, I mean, really, you're doing 9, 10, 11, 12. You're looking at four issues with that, plus you get some extras. Since I think these were like $2.99 or $3.99, uh, the pricing isn't horrible, but you're not getting like a huge deal off of it. You're not getting issues free. But of course, you can find it online, and you're not going to probably pay retail for that. Uh, also out this week is Captain America, Steve Rogers. This collects issues 7 through 11. Nick Spencer is the main writer. He who says is one of the artists, Javier Pena, Andres Guilnado, Rose Stein, Ted Brandt, uh, Kevin LeBranda, Scott Hanna, and Rachel Rosenberg all deal with uh, the art as well. Uh, as I said, this collects issues 7 through 11. It's $15.99, a little bit cheaper. And you know what? There's a lot of uh, people knocking... Captain America Steve Rogers and his whole turn for Hydra, spoiler alert. You can kind of see it right there, it's on the cover, it's not like this is a huge secret. Um, and there's been some good, there's some bad, I'm still kind of really torn on it. I feel like Nick Spencer, when it comes to these sort of uh, political, serious stories, always kind of stumbles. I really prefer his humor uh, comics, The Fix, Superior, Frozen Spider-Man, I think are, are much superior as far as those, way funnier, way more entertaining. Um, this volume isn't quite as, uh, or this series isn't quite as good. It's it's interesting in the fact that you can see all these uh, pieces being put together and dominoes lined up for uh, the eventual Secret Empire reveal that's going to happen where Hydra like springs out and, and uh, takes over the world and then, the, you know, the heroes have to fight back. Um, so as far as that, this is kind of like the key series to really find out how all of that is being lined up and you do get a lot of insight into other events that are going on in the Marvel Universe that you didn't uh, through their main series. So this is kind of giving a little bit of, uh, of you know, pieces of the puzzle as far as that, which is kind of cool. Uh, but when it comes to actual Steve's turn towards Hydra, I haven't really gotten the, the great motivation, the great sense as to how he is totally sold in and um, and why there's such this visceral reaction to Red Skull. Some of that has been discussed, but I've never quite sold as to the why for both. Basically, it's just he sent off into a boarding school, and that's it. He, you know, friends Baron Zemo, and that's it. We never really see that moment where he's, I think, broken and falls into line with the Hydra thinking. It's just kind of done in flashbacks, and that moment is missing. So we're not really ever given that uh, emotional moment to buy into. It just feels like very tacked on and um, about as fake as his memories. Let's go with that. So it's one of those that if you're really, really interested in Secret Empire, you want to find out what's going on, you can check this out. Uh, if you don't care at all, then you are really shouldn't check this out. It's really that simple. Um, the art is pretty decent. <clears throat> you know, the flashback scenes, I think, are always the most interesting off these comics, partially because I think that the thing that really is the most interesting is that the, there's this color use. Mostly it's black and white, but you see there's uses of green. In early ones, there was uses of red, and we can get some uh, images there. Um, so... Some of that is actually really interesting. I think part of the other things I have problems with with the series is that it does touch upon real-world issues. Uh, Ukraine st you know, sticks out to me right away, and it never quite, um, I think, either uh, really never addresses the reality of what's going on. It just feels like kind of superfluous, um, you know, paper-thin stories tacked onto real-world uh, events and what's going on and kind of uh, waving a flag that says we're relevant, we're relevant, where it never really explores any of those actual issues. So um, it's kind of watered down real serious topics into uh, big explosions and action sequences. I think that's kind of my biggest problem with a, a lot of the storyline. Uh, as far as extras, we get covers for uh, the series, as well as some variants that you can check out here. So uh, two trades, there's tons of other trades that are out, but these ones, uh, I'm kind of like medium on. This one is, uh, you know, if you care about Secret Empire, then you're probably gonna wanna read it if you haven't read the series. Black Panther, I think is really good to read as a whole, so you're gonna really need to get the first two volumes to read the third. If you haven't read the first two volumes, I think there's not a whole lot of point in reading this third one. Uh, but start with the first two. They're a good take on Black Panther, um, and for fans of Black Panther, I think you'll enjoy it. For new people, I don't know how you'll necessarily dig it. Uh, as a whole, you can see Coates is kind of 
uh, getting much better in the comic realm and uh, is uh, is improving as the series has gone on. So uh, upwards and onwards, I guess. Thank you, Marvel, for hooking us up with these two trades. It's much appreciated. And it is New Comic Book Day, so you should go to your local comic book shop and go pick these up or pick other comics up and go support your local comic book shop. If you don't know where one is, you can go and use the link beneath this video and go find that out. Uh, if you definitely don't have one in your neighborhood, we've got two links beneath this for these two trade paperbacks. One is a link from Things from Another Universe, a comic shop. The other one's from Amazon. So Amazon will be out next week. Things from Another Universe, you should be able to order this week and get it there. Now, those are both affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that, but by purchasing through that, you help support our site, and that's much appreciated. So, if you're into comic books, Marvel, Captain America, Black Panther, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, YouTube, Twitter, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, make mine Marvel, and keep it... Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.